Hello everyone, this is Randy here again, another episode of Farm and Simmer 2013. And we are playing more realistic on the Heron Hussin map. And I did indeed go pick up the uh, doubles for the uh, front of this tractor. Only because I had to go pick up the uh, rear doubles for some reason. Uh, yeah, when I saved and exited the game, came back in here, it's like uh, my double tires are missing. So I'm not sure if that uh, doesn't get saved to the game or what, I'm not sure. That would really suck if you gotta reattach these every time you uh, save and uh, open the game. I did notice though you cannot actually drive through the front doubles, so they actually took the time, looks like, to uh, model that. That's pretty good. Never uh, seen that before, actually. And you can probably turn the lights off, and we're just gonna hire you again. Got just a little bit of field left here yet, I believe. Everything else that way is already done. And then I got the combines lined up here. We're going to harvest this field, hopefully. Let's see what's here. Hit the power button and see what's what happens. Nothing. Oh, let me get you started first. Now maybe something will happen. And you know what, why not for the first little bit, maybe I'll drive uh, this combine. Oh, that's a lot of light on the subject. Looks like something's on fire over there, practically. We all uh, speed up time just a little bit more here to get a little bit uh, brighter. Yeah, and this combine does go really slow with this head. I guess that's kind of to be expected. That's a 12 and some odd meter header. That's a lot of crop coming into that combine. Well, actually with canola, it's actually not that much, but barley, wheat, corn. I don't have I done, I'm trying to think, have I done corn with this combine? I don't remember, but Yeah, that's interesting. I've never seen it where it, uh, watch I'm driving here at the same time. Actually kind of like blowing back at the tires there. It seems like that's the wrong way to me. I'm not sure that, that could uh, possibly be the way this combine works. I have my doubts though. makes a difference if I do M. I know there's no uh, straw with this, but doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't really have anything uh, lined up particular to do this episode other than harvest this field. And at some point I'll probably hire a worker for this combine as well because this is like eternally slow. 
And I'll, you know, one of the things I want to do is sow some grass along the edge of the uh, field we're cultivating over there right at the moment. Those trees keep getting in the way there for, like, everything, so... I'm thinking I might sow, like, a really wide path, too. I might just take our new, uh... Actually, you know what? I Maybe I can't, because I can't put grass seed in it, can I? That could be a problem. I wonder how you get grass seed in the uh, big cedar. Might just have to use the Vodderstad cedar. Well, that's fine, too. I might just do two paths. Paths. Yeah, you know, paths. Yeah, two paths, then. Two passes. Ah, we got it, finally. Yeah, I might do two passes, then, you know, make an extra wide there. I don't have to worry about the hired workers. And I might do the same thing for this field on this side, or on that side, too. Got a couple of those trees there between this field. Trees on this side you appear to drive through, so I'm not too uh, worried about those. Yeah, I think we'll just hire this guy. Uh, should be good. Could probably turn the lights off. That's the cab light. Brings down the... <laughs> That's an interesting horn. Okay, it looks like that uh, steering wheel should come down now. Ah, okay. I see. There we go. Keep uh, getting confused to the other John Deere. It's number nine on that one, I believe. Oh, uh, let's see what's here. Can we put grass in this cedar? I think not. Uh, it does list grass there, though. Along with a lot of other things. I did uh, go get it filled with fertilizer, so I do have uh, fertilizer in it. Interestingly enough, it didn't actually cost me anything to do that. Okay. Am I just imagining things here? Uh... How come I got 4,717,000 all of a sudden? Ah, uh, I see. Every time I open and, uh, oh, that field just ripened. Close these. I'm get making money. Okay. And that could be a problem. And that's probably because of the uh, more realistic mod. I'm betting it's trying to take out that 4,230 I have in there of whatever seed type and attempting to pay me back for it. Huh. That's interesting. I will have to go back and look at exactly how much money I had before that and uh, change that back down, I guess. Let's see. <laughs> Not sure what to say about that. That could be a problem for this cedar, and I mean a real problem. Anyway, we'll go grab the other cedar then, if I can find it. Oh yes, I got my potatoes yet. I have not uh, figured out where to sell them. We'll do that in a minute. I'm just going to sell them at the the uh, place where we did the sugar beets, I guess. I did go look at the uh, document that came with this map, and it you know, listed the place, but it doesn't list where it is, so...
Eh, probably won't make a whole lot of money. Actually, you know what? I should uh, not make any money off this because I won't know what it is. I'm just going to have to leave that there then. I'll have to remember that. If I sell anything too, that's going to throw off my numbers. Oh, uh, you think you're done, huh? Not quite, unfortunately. Or fortunately for you. I'm not sure how you want to look at it. I know those colors there in Auto Tractor mean something. I'm not entirely sure what, though. Oh, I do know one thing. I believe green is good, so. Okay, we have a little problem here, aren't we? And this is what I was talking about with those trees here. Once we get past the first pass here, though, we should be okay. Must be enough of a hill here. You can't steer. Then you get stuck on the tree there. That, like I say, is probably the single biggest thing that annoys me with this uh, more realistic. It's how the combine headers drag on the ground. And are you having some apparent trouble making this turn? Because I've noticed you've been over here for a while now. It's not that simple. See, so you just drive up here and go. Not sure what the technical difficulty there in that is, but... Uh, not quite enough to finish that, huh? Uh, okay. Okay, I'll leave that guy there. Still leaves me with kind of one tractor short. I could use one more big tractor. This guy's probably a little too big. Let's see, where did I leave the cedar? So I get around all these tires anyway. Yep, in there, okay, perfect. Once I remembered where I left it. Actually, I might have trouble getting it out of here with all these tires on. Kind of up against the wall there. Oh good, we got it. We just looks like we climbed the wall a little bit with the tire, but oh well. And I need grass in it. Okay, am I missing something? Carrots, wheat, barley, corn, canola. Okay, apparently this cedar doesn't do grass. That's interesting. And I really don't feel like using that one. Um, let's see. So I have two cedars that I can't... Well, that cedar I can select grass, but I just can't put it in it. Uh, let's see what's here. It's going to take forever if I do it with a small one.
And I do have a solution to get these uh, boys unloaded. Ah, uh, no, wait a minute. That's the wrong course. I'll take care of the selling you boys just, uh, un or boys, just one boy, I guess, unload the combines. Oh, it's dark in here. And I'm not sure why, if, uh, and every now and then this guy gets stuck and sits here going in circles with a cultivator. See, he did it over there once, too. He did it on that end. Not sure why, but... I think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to stop the episode, I'm going to correct the uh, money amount to the best of my uh, knowledge of what it should have been, based upon the start of this video and how much I, uh, or how much of the little bit of potatoes I sold already. And then I can pick up one of the in-game cedars that will hopefully work. So yeah, I'll uh, pause the recording a minute. We'll be right back. I'll correct the money amount, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be back. Okay, everyone, and we're back. I uh, corrected the money amount to the best of my uh, abilities, what I think it should be. Uh, we had 127 when I started the episode, so I bumped it to 130 because we did sell just a little bit of potatoes there. So that's, yeah, give or take, probably about where we should be. I'll just have to remember to make sure when I push O for that uh, planter, I'm going to have to do something about that, or... Yeah, I'm not sure what yet. I'll have to figure that out. May just end up having to get a different planter because of that. That would, uh... Kind of suck, but oh well. Obviously, I'm not saving that course there. It's hardly worth saving. I do have a course for this field, but I don't think it uh, goes where, to where I need to sell it. Yeah, field 18, sell to, yeah, the B place. I need to go to the A place. Unless, of course, the price changes, which I don't think it has. 348 at the A. And, yeah, the B place does not sell it, so... Oh, potatoes are, like, really good there. Unfortunately, I do not know where that place is. And what I want to look at are cedars. Actually, I do have another modded cedar I could possibly go with, I think. Yeah, this one right here. Boy, we're really close on the money for that one. That one is kind of tempting. We might just, uh, try for that one. I can probably make it if I... Oops. Back this back into the cell point. And do this. Okay, I wasn't planning on buying this. I'd, okay, it does say grass. Excellent. But uh, seeing as how our, none, of our, none of our other planners can do grass, I guess that's what we'll do. Ah, we'll just leave him there for now. A 
believe that trailer will probably pick it up sometime, or maybe I'll just reset it back to the farm. We'll grab the planter here. And like I mentioned before, you do want to be a little bit careful about resetting on this map, because it does put them between those two buildings there, so... You know, get like a big implement and stick it between those two buildings. You might have some fun trying to get it back out. Now, 22 meters, huh? That don't quite look like 22 meters to me. Yeah, that just don't look like 22 meters. Now, according to this, it's 13.5. Now, it actually said 22, didn't it? Oh, 12 meters. Okay. Yep, that's about right then. Okay, and I wonder if I have to have this with it. Probably if I want to do fertilizer, which I... Yeah, with grass, I don't need to. Oh, interesting. It comes full of seeds already. Okay. That'd be uh, great if I needed wheat seeds. Actually, you know what? Maybe that's not a bad idea. Maybe I should uh, use the seeds up in here first before I uh, just, uh, you know, change it to grass or something. Yeah, why don't I do that, actually? I'll plant a wheat, or start planting wheat on that big field. And then once this is out of wheat, or at least close anyway, then I'll change to grass. And actually, I wanted to hook this up to the big John Deere. Oh. Oh, you know what? I bet if I fold it back out, will it, uh... There we go. Apparently no abrupt turns with this cedar. Probably just end up uh, selling that one then since I got uh, two big ones. There we go. That's an interesting place for him to be sitting. And yeah, I'm not sure if you have to cultivate with this cedar first or not. I would assume probably not. I'll be able to figure out if there's actually a little patch of uh, ground that's not cultivated there. We can figure it out right there, probably. Okay, looks like we got that uh, lined up reasonably well. I'm sure Auto Tractor won't think so, but.
13.62 meters according to Auto Tractor. Oh yeah, looks like it'll uh, cultivate our plant without being cultivated. Yeah, now that's a pretty nice looking uh, cedar there. Although I think I probably like the uh, John Deere a little bit better. It's kind of fun, you know, actually filling that cedar up and running it. You know, obviously a lot more work, but... This is probably a little bit easier for hired workers. Or a little bit easier, a lot easier for hired workers. probably do, we can do a little cultivating on this field. Yeah, what I was thinking about, maybe next episode we'll get uh, Big Bud back. Kind of do like a comparison there between the John Deere. I was thinking about getting another one of these uh, cultivators. Could run both those tractors on the same field here. I thought that'd be kind of cool. Although I kind of spent all my money now, so I might not be able to do that. Well, I should be able to once I sell a load of canola, though. Are you uh, stuck over there or something? Yeah, looks like you are. Okay. Yeah, once I start seeing him get full here, then I'll restart this guy in his course. But until then, yeah, no need. Yeah, I would like to purchase uh, one additional field as well. I haven't really decided what uh, field would be good. Kind of have to look around, see what's if there's uh, uh, maybe field three there. That would be a fairly good field to have. Fairly close to the biogas plant as well if we wanted to get into more of that. I'm probably going to wait to do biogas until I figure out how much we make off that little bit we got there, which yeah, shouldn't take too long. It actually might, it might be ready already, I'm not sure. Hey, before we uh, end the episode, I'll go take a quick uh, walk over there and check that out. And yeah, that John Deere air seed, I'm pretty sure you can fill it without actually opening the uh, tops on those tanks. If that's the case, then if you don't have to do O, it should be fine. Now, if it does make me open the tanks in order to fill it, then we might have a problem. Yeah, a good problem to have, mind you. I mean, making all that money just like that, that's uh, pretty easy, but... Let's see, well, R. I was going to say, you can actually open and close the door from outside the tractor. It looks like you get in, I guess. Kind of a cool feature. Anyway, let's uh, take a walk over to the biogas plant here.
I believe the bunker we want is right here. Oh, it is ready. Okay. I mean, next episode we'll have to look into uh, doing that then. Oh, boy. The only front end loader I got is the little guy. Yeah, 3,000 at a time. Okay. That would uh, be over 100 trips. Yowzers. Maybe I'll set up a course play course for that. Anyway, folks, with that, I think we better call it an episode there. If you have any comments and questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching. Till next time.